going on guys? Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's video, I'm gonna answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately, which is what do I do with my hair after I exercise? Yeah. I wish I could just be like, make a typical influencer video and show me like exercising in a cute outfit and then spraying my hair with like this fancy spray bottle and putting a product in it and flipping my head upside down then tipping it back up and then my hair looks beautiful. Um, but I like to be really practical on my channel and that's why this video is going to have a lot of information in it. So I'm assuming that you're asking me that question because you're somebody who exercises all the time and you feel like your hair really looks like crap after you exercise and you don't really know what to do with it so that it looks half decent after you exercise. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna to talk about how I style my hair like before and during and then after I exercise to make it look half decent. Um, and I'm also gonna talk about like my expectations for my hair on certain days and um, how I style it depending on which different types of exercise I do. Um, and how I kind of time all of that to make it not only look half decent, but be convenient uh, for me to style. So anyway, if you're interested in any of that, stay tuned for the video. I'm going to try as hard as I can not to make it too long, but you guys know that I like to talk a lot. Today's video is not sponsored, um, and I'm not going to really promote any types of products in this video or anything specific in this video, I should say. No specific brands. You don't have to go buy anything to follow my advice. And that's how I like to run my channel now. So in the beginning, when I started following the Curly Girl Method and I started on YouTube, I really got excited about promoting different products and stuff like that. And then it got old really quick. So I promise you that if I do find some kind of a miracle product someday that I really love, I'm not gonna like lie or not show it to you because I'm afraid of the backlash of me promoting something. I don't care about any of that. Um, if I find something really good, I will tell you about it. But for the most part, I'm just showing like techniques and giving you guys practical, uh, practical advice about curly hair. Now in today's video, um, because it's a fitness related video, I am gonna talk about how I wear my hair when I run. And some of you are like, Susie, we didn't know you were into running. And I'm actually not. Um, I just signed up for a five kilometer race in my hometown. Um, you can do the event either virtually, that's where you guys come in, or in person. Um, and it's to raise money for ovarian cancer. So there is a woman in my hometown. Her name is Dina. Dina, I hope you're not embarrassed if I show a picture of you, but her name is Dina. She's a curly girl. She is a nurse practitioner and she is just an absolutely beautiful person inside and out. And she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Um, and so I'm not going to talk too much about Dina personally because I don't want to get too emotional in this video and we have to get um, to the hair tips, but she put together this huge fundraising event um, and effort in our community that's happening on Mother's Day. And so I am going to leave a link to my page in the description box. And if you would like to sponsor my 5K run and help me help Dina to raise money for ovarian cancer, um, then you are more than welcome to, no pressure. And then the other thing is, if you would like to take part in the virtual run, maybe you're a runner and you're interested, um, then please do so. I'm gonna leave a link to that as well. And if you're gonna do it, wear teal. It's called the Teal to Heal uh, 5K Run. Please wear teal and take a picture of yourself um, doing the virtual run or like a little video or something. And I promise I will include it at the end of one of my fitness related videos um, in the trailer. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing. So if you're interested in supporting my run or doing the run yourself, I'm gonna leave all the information in the description box. Um, and I would love to have your support, but no pressure. Anyway, back to the hair stuff. So how do I decide what to do with my hair when I'm exercising um, and why is that important? So I style my hair with gel or mousse. And if you have the same hair type as me, you know that you need to use products, um, especially um, in the summer, like something with a little bit of hold. You need to use that in order to maintain your curl pattern or your wave pattern. So kind of the pros and cons about using those types of products is that, yeah, they make your hair really, really good, but depending on how much of it you have to use, that's not a style that can be manipulated a whole lot. So when my hair looks perfect, shiny, my curls look like plump and juicy, 
Um, if I was to go and run my fingers through my hair, it's gonna ruin my hair. If I put my hair in a tight, tight ponytail for two hours and go for a run outside, it's windy. Like, it's just gonna ruin my hair. It's gonna wreck my hair. It's not like when I had straight hair and I could just use a claw clip or like a loose scrunchie and I could exercise for three hours. And as long as I didn't get too, too sweaty, when I took my hair out of the ponytail, might have to just like run a brush through it or something and my hair would look perfect. It's not like that anymore. It's a lot more complicated than that when you have um, wavy and curly hair. And so the biggest thing that I think you need to kind of decide for yourself is on any particular day, how important is it that your hair still looks good after you exercise? And how much time do you have in order to make that happen? So I'm gonna give you an example. I went for a run today. So I went for a run this morning because I'm training for that little race. And I did pretty good, especially for someone with COVID. I have COVID right now. I'm not out of isolation for like another two days. Um, so I have asymptomatic COVID, obviously. I'm not gonna get too much into COVID because we're all sick of hearing about COVID, but totally fine. My baby is COVID, he's totally fine. It's all good. Anyway, so I ran outside today, I'm not going to the gym, obviously, with COVID. So I ran outside today and I wore my hair both in this scrunchie, right? Low ponytail, like this. And if I was like lifting weights or doing a workout video in my house, I would probably just wear my hair like this and I wouldn't care that all these little short pieces of my hair look crazy. But because I was gonna be outside and it was gonna be windy, I would either then, because my hair, I have the short pieces, like I have my little ponytail. Can you guys believe how long my hair is getting now? Um, I would either use a couple little bobby pins to pin my um, bangs back. But one of you, when you asked me what I do with my hair, you said specifically with no bobby pins because I hate bobby pins. So if bobby pins aren't an option, then I would also use um, a headband. And I wish I had my headband here. It's just one of those like horseshoe shaped headbands. I got it at the dollar store. It's not too tight and it's kind of thin. And I just put that on my hair and it kind of holds my bangs back. And what I like about it is like, if I push it forward a bit, it gives me a little bit of volume in the front of my hair. And I just think that's a nice shape for my hair. And um, because you're not stretching your hair back super tight, your hair still looks curly on the top and then your ponytail is curly. So I think it's cute. But today, oh, I got a bunch of stuff in my head. I wore this hat because I was running outside. So you're gonna see what I'm getting at here in a second. So this is me running outside. Gotta tuck my hair in like this because this is what I would have done. Okay, that's how I exercise. I do wear this hat to the gym sometimes, especially if I only have like 40 minutes and I don't wanna talk to anybody because I don't have time. That sounds terrible, but it's true. Headphones in, hat down, exercise, right? Get in the zone. So I went for a run, I ran 5K with my hair in this ponytail with this hat on. So then in order to make this video, I wanted my hair to look half decent. So what I did when I got home, I got in the shower because I was super sweaty. My head doesn't really sweat. My hair's not long enough to really get much sweat from like the back of my neck or anything. Um, but I got in the shower and all I did was, when I was showering, oh my God, I just put my hair right on top of my head, like this here, look. Like that so that like I wouldn't get the back of my hair wet um, the steam and everything from the shower moisturizes your hair a little bit which sometimes can be a bad thing but not if you're careful to put product on it after you get to the shower but I let like the steam from the shower kind of make my hair a little bit misty I got out of the shower when I looked at it it still wasn't quite damp enough I couldn't find my spray bottle if you have a spray bottle just spritz your hair a little tiny bit um, but I just used some water out of the tap in my hands and I kind of praying hands did over my hair. And then I use mousse and I use that Herbal Essences mousse. I'll leave a link to it in the description box um, below, but it's like a cheapy mousse. Any alcohol-free mousse is good as long as it's alcohol-free. And I do refresh my hair with gel, but lately I've been loving, loving the mousse um, because it's like a one product, one and done type thing. So I had my damp, steamy-ish hair. I put the mousse in my hair. I tip my head upside down because it already kind of had a shape to it. I just blasted it with a diffuser and scrunched it. And this is what my hair turned out like. So let's just be honest. Like my hair, I never wear my hair like this. Why? I just don't like this shape on me. If I was to see you 
in the grocery store, which is basically the only place I go now, but not right now because I have COVID. But if I was to see you when you had this nice round hairstyle with the little bangs, I would think that you looked adorable. But for whatever reason, I just can't go it on myself. So where's my bobby pin? I lost it. I know I said no bobby pins. Um, so if you're the bobby pin hater, you can use a little tiny cloth clip. But I usually like pin one side of my hair back after I refresh it and I have something like a little bit asymmetrical. Oh, gotta fix a little bit. Or I'll pin both sides back. And then my hair's still down, it's still curly, it still looks cute and like I put some effort into it. Um, but I put very little effort into it. So that's if I got a shower and I didn't have time, you know, to wet all of my hair and go through my full styling routine. My hair still looks pretty good. Um, my hair always looks better when I get in the shower, wet my hair, apply my products in the shower, let my hair air dry or diffuse it a little bit and go through the whole styling process. My hair always looks better like that. But ain't nobody got time for that every single day of the week. So I'm just telling you um, how I deal with my hair after I exercise, like on a daily basis. So that I would say would be like the worst case scenario is going for a run, wearing a hat, wearing my hair in a ponytail, um, and then having to refresh that afterwards. So again, my tips are, one thing I didn't mention is my tips would be don't put any product in your hair before you go for the run because the more gel mousse, the more um, like occlusive or products with hold that you put in your hair um, before you exercise, the flatter and tighter and more wonky your hair is going to be uh, when you're done because it's really going to hold the shape of that scrunchie and that hat. So try to go less product. Um, wear your hair however you're comfortable. I'm not going to put my hair in a pineapple and go for a run because I think it's going to maintain my curl pattern better. No, that's going to be awful. I'm going to put my hair in my baseball hat or my little headband and my ponytail um, and then to try to refresh it as much as I can afterwards. And remember I was talking about having like realistic expectations. So my hair, like if I was shooting a hair video where I was showing you my hair routine for how I would style my hair if I want my hair to look really good, this to me wouldn't be good enough. Like some parts are kind of straight and kind of wavy. It's a little bit frizzy. You know what I mean? But I exercised, I'm being healthy. I'm not spending two hours on my hair. My hair looks good enough for the guys I go with. Um, so that's kind of what this video is about. Okay, situation number two. Situation number two is I'm exercising in my home. And when I exercise in my home, I'm either doing weights or I'm doing like a high intensity interval training video. If I was doing weights, I could basically wear my hair any way I want. I could probably wear my hair down. And aside from doing like squats or something with a bar across my back, um, my hair wouldn't really get in the way. But for the most part, I do wear my hair in a pineapple similar to how I would wear it when I was sleeping. And the reason I would do that is because it's going to make it a whole lot easier to refresh after I'm done exercising. And another reason that I'm doing that is nobody's going to see me. So I really don't care if it looks kind of silly. Um, so where'd that bobby pin go? Oh, I already got rid of it. So if I was exercising in my house, doing a workout video, whether you have really long hair um, or hair like mine, I would put my hair in either uh, a full pineapple or like a half a pineapple. So I do mine in a half a pineapple because I only have shoulder length hair. So basically take as much hair as I can from the sides, a little bit from the back because it's going to keep a little bit of volume and not flatten my hair out. And I just put it in a loose, not too loose because you don't want it to move around too much, pineapple right on top of my head and I leave this part of my hair down. See? And like I don't find it annoying. It actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks bad. Um, but it doesn't look too bad and it's only me that's going to see myself. So this is how I wear my hair. Then when I'm done exercising, I can take my hair out of the scrunchie and with very, very minimal effort, I can refresh my hair. And I'm only really kind of refreshing this top part of my hair. Another thing that I do and that I fully support that is a lot different than a lot of the other curly hair, like curly girl method type people on YouTube. The other thing that I would like to mention that I have never lied about is that let's say I wanted my hair to look real good. I wore it in the pineapple. I did my exercises. I took my hair out of my thing. I sprayed it with the water. I scrunched it and put mousse in it and I tried to refresh it. And because of the way I had my hair, 
um, my bangs look terrible. Like that happens to me a lot. And I think maybe it's because I use heat on my bangs sometimes, look at this. But let's say I go through my whole styling routine. Can you guys just pretend for a minute that my hair looks better than it actually does? Um, <laughs> but I go through my whole styling routine and like the very front pieces of my hair look really bad. I will take a styling wand or a curling iron and I will curl like a couple of pieces of hair um, around the front of my face super quick because it saves time and it just makes the rest of your hairstyle look more polished and put together without you having to use heat on all of your hair. I've been doing this since I started the curly girl method. My bangs never look damaged. Um, yes, like I mentioned, they don't refresh as easy and maybe that's because I use heat or maybe it's because I'm constantly like pinning them back with like a little clip or putting a hat on um, and stuff like that. So that's debatable. If you are doing as much as you can to keep your hair healthy, then please feel free as long as you're using caution and you're not going overboard, feel free to use like a, a little tiny bit of heat on your bangs. And if you don't want to do that, you can use like a little uh, Velcro roller or something like that and give it a blast with the hairdryer, like dampen it a little bit, roll it up, does the same thing. Here's another scenario for you. What about a day that you actually have an event to go to? Like, you know, Maybe you're watching this and you graduated with me in 2000 or 2001 or whatever and you um, and I'm embarrassed that you're watching my YouTube channel because <laughs> you actually know me. Um, but maybe you're watching this and you have like your high school reunion or you have a wedding to go to or it's your wedding or you have a date or you're just going out somewhere and you want to look really good or you have a job interview or you have something where you really, really want your hair to look amazing then your hair can take priority over your workout for that one day. So for example, on a day like that, yes, I still might want to work out, or maybe I'm still teaching a class or something like that, um, but I would just try to do it early in the morning so that I shower after my workout and style my hair after I work out. Like I mentioned before, if I was 20 and I didn't have kids, it wouldn't matter. I could go to the gym after work at five o'clock I could get home at 6.30, at 7 I could get a shower, I could put all my products in, take my time, paint my friggin' toenails, you know, diffuse my hair, make it look perfect, and then get all dolled up and put a fancy top on and go to the bars or whatever I did when I was 20, but I just find I don't have time for that and I want to have balance in my life. So if I really had something to do where I want my hair to look really special, then I would know if I exercise super hard and have my hair in a ponytail. Um, that is going to reduce the chances of me having perfect hair greatly. So on a day like that, I would either exercise early in the morning so that I could shower um, and or take my time really refreshing my hair properly and styling my hair, um, or I just wouldn't exercise that day. It's very healthy to have a day off from exercising. I only exercise five days a week um, when I can, and I feel really fit, and I feel like I've been doing really good. And my hair doesn't look too bad. Now, I desperately need a trim, but that's another story. And when I do go and get my hair cut, I will make a video about that. So anyway, guys, I hope this video was kind of helpful. Sometimes these videos are helpful because I try to answer your questions as honestly as possible. And maybe you still have questions. And so if you do, please leave them in the description box below or in the comment section, I should say below. And either I will answer them or someone else might be able to answer them for you. Um, and I hope you like this video. If you're interested in the Teal to Heal running event, please look for the information in the description box below. Please sponsor my run. And if you're interested in seeing the types of videos that I do when I work out at home, I'm gonna make a workout video today and I'm gonna link it in the description box and post it on this channel. It's gonna be like a 25 minute hit uh, workout video. It's the type of videos that I follow when I'm home and it's the thing that I really think has helped me to get in really good shape. So yes, I teach spin once a week and I probably run once a week. Um, but for the most part, when I'm exercising, I'm doing these like 25 to 35 minute videos and I think they're awesome. And I'll try to give some modifications for people who maybe can't do all of the same exercise that I'm doing and uh, check that out. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. You can give it a thumbs up if you liked it and a big old thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.